Mathematically, a change is always the value of a variable at the final condition minus the value of the same variable at the initial condition. So the change in momentum is the momentum of the object at the final condition minus the momentum of the object at the initial condition. We calculate the final and initial momentum using the formula we learn. Momentum equals mass times velocity. The subscript F refers to the final condition and the subscript I refers to the initial condition. If the mass of the object remains unchanged, then the initial mass equals the final mass. If we take m out as a common factor, we get another form of the equation used to calculate the change of momentum of an object. The change in momentum is positive if the final momentum is larger than the initial momentum. The change in momentum will be negative if the final momentum is smaller than the initial momentum. So if you do get a negative answer, it does not mean it is wrong, as long as the answer makes logical sense. The change in momentum may also be zero, and that would be the case if the final momentum equals the initial momentum.